We are back with another edition where we celebrate the brilliant minds and innovative spirits who emerged victorious in Smart India Hackathon 2023. Today we have with us a team that worked on one of the most important sectors of our economy, travel and tourism. They have developed solutions and tools that have potential of revolutionizing the travel industry. So let's meet Anvesha and her team and understand this new innovation of theirs. So welcome Anvesha to the show. Please uh, tell us something about yourself and then, of course, we'll introduce your team members as well. Namaste, sir. I'm Anvesha Ghosh from University of Engineering and Management, Kolkata. Representing the team Elite Squad, uh, which comprises of Nilanjan Jawardar, Kundan Kumar, Atrish Ghosh, Dibyoshi Banerjee, and Khushi Soumya. So, uh, we, the, the team, has won the problem statement SIH 1486 which is under student innovation. We are from University of Engineering and Management, Kolkata. The journey of SIH was incredible. We have learned team management, how to work under pressure, brainstorming every challenges that was given to us. Okay, great. So now let's meet the other team members of this uh, team. Hi guys, please uh, introduce yourself. Yeah, hello, I am Nilanjan Jwarta. Uh, I am from University of Engineering and Management. Currently pushing BTEC in second India. Uh, we were very happy to have Anisha as our team leader. We worked on the tours and travels project as introduced by Anisha previously. Uh, we also faced various challenges and yeah, we were very happy to work on them. Thank you. Hello sir, myself Kundan Kumar. I am a student of University of Engineering and Management pursuing BTEC in Computer Science and Information Technology. Sir, I gained various experience in SIH 2023. Okay guys, it's very nice to have you here with us today to discuss this uh, new uh, you know, solution that you come up with in travel and tourism industries uh, problem statement. So Anvisha, getting back to the PS of yours, uh, please tell us something about what the problem uh, statement was and uh, how do you think was that statement really so critical that it demanded some you know comprehensive solution? So sir, our focus revolves around addressing the challenges presented in problem statement uh, SIH-1486, which centers on travel and tourism basically. The crux of this problem statement lies in seeking a solution or idea that can uplift the current situation of the tourism industry, encompassing areas such as hotels, travels, and related sectors in India. Like we have made the whole system based on India for now. This is like a problem uh, happening in India mostly. Uh, like uh, there is, uh, you know, people have many budget related issues. So uh, our main focus is basically that budget making tool, which will be, I'll be covering later. So what exactly do you think is the problem with the travel and tourism sector which needs addressing? See, we all are, you know, consumers and potential consumers. It affects all of us, this particular industry, the way we travel, the way we move around, the way we plan our holidays. And of course, there are like thousand things to be done. I can understand that. But uh, uh, I mean, for to take care of all those things, we have travel agents. We have various other, you know, avenues which take care of, you know, all those needs. So, uh, despite having all that, where do you think was this, you know, something was lacking, which, you know, prompted you to work on this and, you know, create a solution that addresses the issues related with this industry? So, see, the first of all, that is the thing that you mentioned, that is the travel agent. You have to pay something to the travel agent. They won't give you the plan, like, you know, uh, without any uh, cost, right? So, and uh, there are many other issues, such as, the um, uh, like, people uh, face problems while planning planning like you know uh, they have a budget and uh, they don't know where to go in that budget and um, it is a major issue they need to sit like they have to go to, to the whole thing like the whole research manual and it is timely people don't have time that is the sir, thing sir so please now tell us about the solution that you will come up with and what all it deals with what all it takes care of yes sir i'm coming to that so, sir, um, in response to this, we have developed a comprehensive solution, a budget-making tool. This innovative tool takes into account various factors, including budget, number of days you want to be there in that place, uh, number of rooms you require, to craft a personalized journey plan for the users. 
can you tell us how this happens like how have you you know developed the a system wherein you know all this becomes easy for a person like me to you know plan a travel and you know move around uh sir yes sir uh so we have made the budget making tool like in the front end the basic the ui like the user interface is made using uh, pure html and css and the back end is made using javascript uh where we have put uh, some advanced algorithms uh and it is like you know computerized in that way uh we have uh, used the algorithm of graph basically data structure and algorithm so for an end user like me like uh, what what is the take away from uh, my side i mean how does it benefit me or how does uh, how do i go about using this tool and you know uh, solving my travel related issues so no, sir you have a budget of 50000 uh, you have two people and you are going to kochi for example uh, so basically it gives you the whole journey plan by train by flight and uh, you have also got that uh, multimodal choice like you are you are going by train and coming by flight basically we are trying to make it more time optimized and cost optimized at the same time okay that sounds great so how does that happen like uh, can can we have a look at you know the uh, any interface or any any kind of a app or a website where you know i can go and see how all this happens for the consumer as well as from your end how do you manage that okay so let's see the ui of the website So this is our basic UI. The name of our website is Thrifty Voyage. Let's scroll down and see what is there. This is the About Us section that tells like what is the Thrifty Voyage is all about. This is the VR section of our website, which lets you see the places or the destination in VR mode. So let's see Lotus Temple. so you can see that it is giving you a vr mode to see the lotus temple let's move back to the website so now we have come to the budget like book a budget like this is the budget making tool of our website so now my budget is like 1 lakh we have the option to choose the currency Like INR, USD, and UR, uh, like the euro. So for now, I'm keeping it as like INR. How many of you are going? So let's take two. How many days are you planning for? Let's take uh, three. Uh, how many rooms do you need? One. And destination is Kochi. On submitting, we are getting a journey plan by train. Like you can travel by train by using fifty eight hundred. You can accommodate five star hotel room for six thousand, and uh, other like money is also there reserved for sightseeing and other other necessities. Uh, you also get a journey plan by flight. And uh, the last but not the least, the most attractive thing which is not there in the other websites, uh, that is the multimodal journey plan we are getting. It is giving you the optimized time, like the how much time you need. Uh, to, for the whole journey, so let's scroll down. This is the explore part. On clicking culture, you get to see the different cultures of India. Like on clicking Bangalore, you get to know something about Bangalore, Delhi, Kerala, Mumbai, Hyderabad. Okay, let's move back and see. Uh, here we have a. Uh, So by using this, we can get to know the weather of any place. Suppose, right, Lucknow. So it is giving me the temperature that is present in Lucknow right now. Uh, so this is the footer part, and uh, let's come to the most uh, another like uh, a beautiful thing, another feature. We have a language support system. Like for now, we have Hindi. so you can see the whole website is getting translated into hindi this is for the non english speakers and the people who uh, can't understand and read in the uh, yeah, english uh let me show you the accessibility feature that we have added 
there's many people who have color blindness dyslexia for them the fonts get changed you can see we have also like features like we can pause the animation the animation gets paused we can get bigger text and last but not the least uh, among our key features we have thrift 2 it's a ai chatbot it gives you uh, like it uh, answers your uh, travel queries that you have regarding our website and any travel plan suppose all right hello it greets me by the message namaste this is script to the chatbot of thrifty voice how may i help you so what is the uh, price of flight ticket from kolkata to delhi so it has given me the answer like as low as 2734 and uh, the maximum price for the kolkata to delhi can go up to 23414 so the demo is uh there only thank you okay so that uh, sounds pretty interesting and pretty useful so now one question uh, anvesha uh, how is it different from the other avenues or should i call it, there, there are other websites you know there are like trip advisors of the world so they also offer quite a lot of information quite a lot of you know suggestions so how is it different from all the other similar uh, you know uh, websites or uh, platforms okay so obviously sir there is a question rising that uh, how our website is different from the existing platforms uh, speaking about the differences our key feature that multimodal mode of transport which makes search stand out among stand out among the crowd uh, this multimodal provides us with a uh, optimized plan not only optimized its time optimized and cost optimized at the same time like for example if we go to kochi from kolkata we can go via hyderabad now other platforms don't show this way or the modes that we can opt so our platform what it does it shows the break point we can afford uh, so that we it takes less time and less budget so i think this stands out among the crowd and one more thing to add that the our website has a language support which uh, is more user friendly for the native people and all and the dyslexia part which all anisha has already explained uh, which user friendly to people with the disease as well so i think it stands out among the crowds in the following ways thank you okay that's great i mean uh, it seems that you certainly have you know improved upon a lot of uh, features a lot of you know functionalities upon if we compare it to the other platforms or other options available so now uh, moving forward uh, what is your plan like where do you want to take this to what is the next step yes sir talking about the future plans i think we are planning to implement it on a higher scale so that it uh, reaches to maximum audience uh so that they get they get the benefit sitting at the home uh we we would like to add more things we have kept it as our future plan to add to the website to make it more user friendly and like that we are planning for the future okay so the functionality of the website is certainly wonderful so now please share something about you know the back end how do you manage all that uh, you know all those answers because it would require a lot of data it would require a lot of information so how is that being managed at your end So as I said that we have worked on test data um, uh, because the real time data access is not possible right now. Uh, we are not given the access. Uh, so uh, we have used the advanced algorithm of graph, and uh, we have also used Python for the basic uh, rough planning. So yes, sir. So uh, in the future, you think uh, at any given point of time. you will be able to not only obviously improve upon uh, what is there right now with you but also you know try to you know launch it into a some kind of a venture you, you, can we expect yes, something of that sort uh yes sir but uh, we are not thinking of it uh, as of now uh, but yes we are in a plan to do that thing as well 
Right. Uh, great, Anvesha. And uh, I would congratulate you and your team to, you know, uh, to come up with such a wonderful idea and which can actually be scaled up and, you know, uh, it will definitely help a lot of people who are willing to travel, who are, you know, trying to make their holidays wonderful and enjoyable. So your plans, your, uh, you know, methodology would certainly, you know, is going to help them quite a lot. And uh, of course, you would uh, a very deserving winner of Smart India Hackathon 2023. And our congratulations once again to all of you. And we hope that you take this forward and make it better and not only better, but, you know, you, uh, you know, uh, take this out, roll it out as a business at one point of time, sometime in the future. And uh, wish you all the best for uh, that particular moment when it happens. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much, sir. We once again congratulate Anvesha and her team and hope that their achievement will inspire many others and their innovation may pave the way for a smarter, travel-friendly and prosperous India. We'll be back with more such innovations. Keep watching this space. Goodbye.